So today guys, magbibigay ulit ako ng example problem about sa buoyancy. So yung problem, to what depth of an 8 feet diameter lag, 15 feet long, with a specific gravity of 0.25, sink in fresh water. So first, i-drawing muna natin yung problem. So for this problem, meron tayong two cases. So yung una, pwede natin i-assume na yung position of this lag in the water is naka-vertical or pwede din naka-horizontal. Para malaman natin kung alin dito yung tama, i-assume muna natin na yung vertical yung position niya. So for example, ito nga, uh, we have 15 feet long na lag and yung diameter is 8 feet. So meron tayong weight of this lag and nakalocate siya sa center of gravity and yung buoyant force naman nakalocate yan sa center of buoyancy. Yung center of buoyancy, ito yung centroid of the volume submerged in a liquid. And yung hinahanap natin is yung depth na submerged of this lag. So, let's say that is variable x. Para masolve natin yan, we will use summation of force vertical equal to 0 or equate natin lahat ng pataas na forces sa lahat ng pababa na forces. So, yung pataas na forces is yung Bf and yung pababa is yung own weight of the lag. Na yung formula nga natin for buoyant force or Bf, that is the unit weight of the liquid for this problem is water and the volume displaced or volume submerged. And yung weight naman of the object is unit weight of the object times the volume of the object. So yung unit weight of the object equal din yan sa unit weight of water times the specific gravity of that object. So magka-cancel yung unit weight of water natin. So magkakaroon tayo now ng volume displaced that is x times area or the cross-sectional area of the lag times the depth kasi ito yung volume displaced. And sa kabila naman, meron tayong specific gravity of the object times volume of the lag na merong length na 15 feet and cross-sectional area na letter A. Ito yung circular area. So, magka-cancel din yung area natin. Ngayon, yung x natin na value, that is specific gravity of the object times 15 feet. Na meron tayong value for specific gravity of the object, that is 0 0.425. So, meron tayong value now for x or the depth of this lag below the liquid that is 6.375 feet. So, as you can see, pag in-drawing natin yan, ganito yung figure niya. So, meron tayong depth na 6.375. And kung meron tayong 15 feet na total length of the lag, meron tayong length above the surface na 8.625. So, as you can see in the figure, this is not possible. So, instead na ganito yung position niya, dapat ganito yung position niya. So, nakorosan pala siya. So, this is the length na of the lag kaiga siya and this is a cross-sectional area. Pero guys, sa situation 2 or case 2, meron din tayong dalawang case. So, pwede din ganito yung case niya or pwede din ganito. Pero mas mababase natin yung guys yan, depende sa specific gravity. So, as you can see, yung specific gravity of the lag that is 0.425 and the specific gravity of water that is 1. So, pwede natin i-assume na ganito yung position niya yung depth of water na naka-displaced in the water is less than the radius of this lag. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na figure. So, we have radius na 4 feet nga and yung hinahanap natin, let's say that is variable x. So, yung buoyant force nag a sa volume submerged na nakalocate yan sa centroid din ng volume submerged and meron din tayong weight of this lag na nakalocate sa center of gravity. So, summation of first vertical ulit, equal to 0. Equate natin lahat ng pataas sa forces sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung pataas natin is same pa din na buoyant force and yung pababa is the weight of the lag. So, same pa din na unit weight of water times volume displaced, that is the buoyant force. And the weight is the unit weight of the object times the volume of object. Kung i-zoom ko guys yung cross-sectional area of the lag, yung kukunin natin na area na submerged is the area segment. So itong area na to. So meron tayong area of the sector. So yung area of the sector, that is the area of the triangle plus the area of the segment. Pero yung kailangan lang natin is the area of the segment times perpendicular width at the screen natin para maging volume displaced siya. So yun yung gagamitin natin for our buoyant force. So yung area segment nga, that is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. And meron tayong formula for our area of the sector that is 1 half r squared theta. And for our triangle, itong triangle na isosceles kasi meron tayong same size na r, so that is 4 feet. So itong triangle, yung dalawang sides is congruent or equal. Kung meron tayong adjacent size, tapos in between them merong angle, yung gagamitin natin yung area for our triangle that is 1 half AB sin theta. 
So yung data natin is in between sa dalawang adjacent sides na radius. So yung area for our triangle now is 1 half r squared sine theta. So meron tayong common and pwede natin i-factor out ang 1 half r squared. So yung formula na natin for area of the segment that is 1 half r squared, closing parenthesis theta minus sine theta. Take note. Yung theta natin, pag nakalabas sa trigonometric function, dapat naka-region siya. Pero pag nasa loob ng trigonometric function, dapat naka-degrees tayo. Tapos balikan natin itong equation guys. So unit weight of water times volume displaced is equal to unit weight of water times specific gravity of object times the volume of object. Cancel ulit yung unit weight of water. Tapos yung volume displaced, that is the area of the segment nga times perpendicular sa screen natin na length of the lag that is 15 feet. And that is also equal to the specific gravity times the volume of the object that is the area of the circle times perpendicular sa screen natin na 15 feet. So magka-cancel yung 15 feet. So meron tayong now na area of the segment that is a specific gravity of the object times the area of the circle. So yung area of the segment now that is 0 0.425 times the area of the circle that is pi over 4 d squared. And meron tayong diameter na 8 feet. So, yung area of the segment now is 21.362.83004 square feet. So, pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video and i-check yung pagkakalculate ko. So, pwede natin guys equate itong dalawang equations. So, meron tayong radius na 4 feet. Tapos, simplify natin. So, yung 21.362.83004 times 2 all over 16 feet. That is 2.67. 0353756 and that is equal to theta minus sine theta. So, pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video and i-check yung pagkakalculate ko kung tama yan. Pwede tayo guys mag-shift solve. Kung wala tayong shift solve sa calculator, we will use trial and error to solve that angle theta natin. So, pag mag-solve kayo guys ng angle theta, pag mag-shift solve, dapat tayo naka-region mode. So, pag naka-region mode tayo, syempre, nakamakuha nyo is naka-regions din. So, yung theta now is 2.9487.0862 radians. So, pag convert natin yan sa degrees, mag-multiply tayo ng 180 all over 5. And that is 166.436.8404 degrees. So, after natin guys masob yung theta, uh, pwede natin guys masob yung depth of the triangle. So, ito yun. So, kinukuli yung kalahate. Yung depth niya is 4 minus x. So, meron tayong depth na kukunin natin na x. If this is theta, kalahate nun, yung gagamitin natin is angle theta over 2. Tapos, itong hypotenuse of the triangle, that is 4 feet. So, we will use cosines. So, yung cosine angle na ang ganyan natin is theta over 2. That is adjacent side over hypotenuse. So, yung adjacent side natin is yung 4 minus x. Ito na yun na side. Over hypotenuse na 4 feet. And meron tayong angle na 166.436.8404 degrees. So, kalahari nun, that is 83.2184.2021 degrees. Pero guys, pag nagkukumpit tayo na naka-degrees na yung theta natin, ah, dapat ibalik natin sa degree mode yung calculator natin. Kasi, pag hindi natin nabalik, ah, iba yung malalabas na value for our cosine. So, yung cosine of this angle, that is 0 0.1180847304 cross multiply. So, 4 times that value that is 0 0.472338921 feet. So, yung value now for x, that is 3.527661079 feet. So, ito na yung sagot for this problem. So, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and have a good day.